go. Who the hell are you, man? Genius billionaire playboy from my We are the knight! Uh-huh. Knight! <laughs> On to your butt. And now for something completely different. Hello out there and welcome to the Nights nice Nerditude Podcast, podcast for all things nerd. I am your host, Sean, and I'm here with... Back in the 80s, I got really into erotic art. It's Sam. <laughs> I fell in a void and all I found was Morbius reruns. <laughs> And on our Skype hotline, we're joined with... <laughs> Hippos are great. It's Chris. <laughs> All right. Yes, hippos are great, Chris. Did Anyways. you get, like, hit in the head at some point? <laughs> Sounds like something you'd say if a mule kicked you in the head. <laughs> hippos are great. <laughs> or or just watching random TV shows. <laughs> That's true. So, yes, this that is kind of like the title of this episode, Random TV Shows. It's all TV. Uh, we really don't have much for movies to talk about, which is fine, I think. But, uh, yeah, so we got, was it Outer Range, Moon Knight... <coughs> Uh, we got a, a trailer to discuss, uh, but let's... <laughs> it's a movie trailer. It is a movie trailer, and we will we'll see it, I promise. Um, no, uh, so let's start off with news, guys. All right, so Chris, you want to lead the news? Oh, of course I do. Yes. For the, <laughs> the most deja vu moment I've had in a long time, I open up <laughs> my news feed, and all of a sudden <laughs> it says Edra, Ezra Miller gets arrested in Hawaii for... Who cares? Oh no! It, he, it, it matters he, what he he did. gets. Oh wait, this one was assault and battery. Yep, yep. Yes. So he this threw one a was chair assault. at a woman's head and didn't cut it, her head open. Yeah. Didn't yes. this also involve him breaking into a place? That was the no. last time. Yeah. He did so, it. so <laughs> oh, okay. I'm looking at this article and I'm like, wait, wait which so he last did, time? did he did he get did he get arrested? And because uh, I'm looking at this a couple of days ago, I'm like, did he get arrested? Didn't it happen like a week ago? Yeah. Um, to find out, two weeks ago <laughs> he got arrested again for. <laughs> yeah. Entering a home and violating a restraining order or something yep. like that. In I this, no, in he, he had a restraining state. order. In he had a restraining state. order placed against him at that point. I um, thought two, two weeks, weeks ago. ago was the bar fight. I, uh, yeah, there was yeah. a bar fight involved. He did a lot two weeks ago. <laughs> he did, uh, he's he did. a very busy man for somebody who's not doing their job. Uh, he entered the speed force of uh, battery, is what he did. Remember, yeah. this is this is the guy who won the Oscar for greatest cinematic moment of all time. Yeah, yeah he uh, <laughs> let's put it this way: he couldn't phase out of a jail cell to avoid uh, avoid being arrested again. Yeah, so, which I I don't know if he was arrested twice. Either way. Either way, here's my concern. When's he going to take this to a different state? Seriously, <laughs> Hawaii, all the news here. Take it out of the road, Not man. to California. I feel like that's normal in California. Go somewhere new. Isn't this Hawaii? It yeah. is Hawaii. Yeah. It's yeah. Hawaii. Such a yeah. tranquil place to get into two <laughs> yes. separate right? violent altercations. Right? Don't, you yeah. think, don't you think after the first one, your agent would be like, all right, let's, let's kind of get away from Hawaii for a couple weeks. Yeah. Nope, let's, he's been there for like yeah. a month. Yeah. How about what do you think of Palm Springs? Yeah, Can go to Florida. Go, yeah, right. It's fine. Like everybody's pay on you to anyway. fight a gator. So this you know? is so this is Dubai. Uh, let's, like anywhere. Let's let's tie this all into the the um... the Speed Force. <laughs> no, no, no. Like a few. Let's tie this into a few things here because there is another celebrity in the news who's who's also been having some legal trouble and he he. He actually has gotten dropped from movies, uh, where apparently this one, Ezra Miller, has not gotten dropped from any movies. <laughs> well, that, that's a question I wanted to bring up. So yeah, Warner Brothers has discussed dropping Ezra Miller, so he still has The Flash coming out. Well, there's there's two things. And, and he's Flash. in the Fantastic Beast movies. Yeah, Fantastic Beast is, is, you know, it's not doing well in the box office. No. Compared to the other two. Uh, or all of them trilogy in so far. Well, that's those are like a separate. I'm I'm looking at those separate. Um, but uh, it's the lowest of the three, and supposedly they're supposed to be five. But, yeah. Um, yeah. But, you know, after Johnny Depp had his issues and he got dropped, uh, Ezra Miller now has his issues. Is he going to be dropped? 
we're essentially like losing cast members at a at a pretty decent clip here to make me think that maybe we're not going to get a Fantastic Beast four and five. But probably that's, not. That's not like yeah. the bigger. The bigger question is: Does the Flash get released? Number one, <laughs> does it get released? Which I I still think is yes because I think they're done. Yeah, right? they're done. Yeah, yeah, I believe they're done. There's no yeah. way it doesn't get released. Yeah, so the, it's getting released. The question is now: Is it is it released to theaters? Or is yeah, it oh, yeah. released a no, direct it, to HBO Max? He, he, I, I think that's fair. I would still no, probably say theaters. theaters. 100% theaters. This is it. There's too much money behind this to just be like, yeah, we're just going to release it on HBO Max. Yeah. Like, there, there's too much talent. There's too much going riding on. And that this. was such a huge thing too to do that for all of like last year. Yeah. Like they they used yeah. like a lot of capital. Plus that guy's gone, so like they can't even do it now. So well, doesn't mean they can't do it, but probably won't. The guy whose idea it was is like fired because they just did like a big merger with Warner uh, Brothers HBO. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. Uh, so I guess the bigger, I guess another question that could potentially <laughs> create create a. Uh, uh, I don't want to say a conflict of interest, but a, a little like, is this really happening? When when it does get released, are they going to let Ezra Miller promote the movie? No, and I think no that, uh, it's going to be uh, Affleck, Keaton. Keaton. Well, I I think it depends. If this stuff really dies down, yes. And isn't it just mm. him getting into a fight? I mean, like I know twice. It's been a lot. Yeah, no, for but it, sure. It's, it's violence. I mean, like, if it's you, not just like if you fights. read about it, it's a lot. Yeah. But like laymen who probably just hears this through the grapevine, I don't know how much they're gonna care. I mean, I feel like on the cancel cancelability spectrum, just beating the shit out of somebody, kind of just pedestrian. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I I don't know. Like, no, then, like, like, really, but, like, there's nothing that's, like, super hot button about it other than him just clearly being a scumbag. Yeah, but then again, it's also, we just had this thing happen a few weeks ago where... Right, and know, all the stuff with Army Hammer, too, like, he's more or less <laughs> done, and, yeah. you know, I don't even know, like, didn't you just, like, joke about eating somebody or something? Like, what? I don't, yeah, he, I don't yeah. know. He, uh, he didn't <laughs> joke about it. Like, he talked about, like... Being. Remember this guy Isn't this is like a, a fetish of his. Yeah, where it's like faux cannibalism. Yes, yes, and like there's leaked like emails about him talking about it, which would uh, be fine. But you mix it with all the pedophilia and yeah. stuff, and, and the fact that <laughs> well, like he's legit, also a like gonna... he's also like a trillionaire's uh, grandson. So like, yeah, it gets a little we- like too hostile esque. <laughs> like going on there, like oh, rich he's guy. got the money to make it. Weird. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Like he has the he has the money and the power to make it happen, mm. and like that's the creepy thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so we so get- yeah, I don't think we're gonna. You know, I think the Flash universe is probably dead. Yeah. Um, incredible. Just the the universe itself just <laughs> conspiring for this to never happen. <laughs> right. Never right, Flash right. Right. I know. Um, you and know, to, and to take out uh, Fantastic Beasts while it's at it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. at some point, it's like Michael Keaton's just gonna say something awful, and then it's just where they're gonna have to just take it off the market. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's like the the ship can only survive so many holes before it just goes underwater. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, but you know, we'll see. When is this movie coming out? End the Flash. Year. End of this year. Oh God. Yeah. It, it, yeah if, we'll see. I if mean, Ezra it, Miller probably, but... doesn't do anything else before the end of the year. I feel like okay, they're in the clear. Mm-hmm. But one more thing, Based especially if it's like record, two though. months from now, <laughs> it, or like a couple months down the road. This is literally, by the way, that like <laughs> you know that Facebook meme where it's like you can stay in this house, you get seven hundred million dollars, and you can't, but you can't eat food the whole time or something <laughs> like that. Like, do you do it? This is like Ezra Miller. You get like two million dollars, but you can't go to bars for a year. Do you do it? <laughs> well, it, I would. I would assume nowadays with. Uh... The slap heard around the world it's there's got to be some contract language written in where it's yeah. if you kind of yeah i'm sure but like that was a long ha- have run-ins ago. yeah i'm sure there has to be like a i don't want to say personality clause but like a um uh what kind of clause like a social uh yeah i issue. forget what those are called one of the, i forget what it's called you're right though the, you know what i mean right there's, there's yeah 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 where if it's like act, the don't be an a-hole clause really yeah yeah exactly uh, did you guys hear about the tonys <laughs> What they did, they had to specify. Oh yeah, that physical violence will not be tolerated. Yep, really. <laughs> yes, they did. 
Like, in in their program. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Looking at you, Hugh Jackman. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Flash may or may not happen in November, so we'll see. It'd be It'll funny happen. if they if this just ends up with the guy from the TV show Flash becoming Flash. I, 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 can't, I would love it. I, I, I would I prefer me that. Sign me I've <laughs> hated Ezra Miller since the beginning. The, the Flash is, is the week before Black Panther World Conda Forever, so it, it, it could be moved. It could well, remember well remember when they had that movie with Kevin Spacey who was supposed to be uh, John Paul Getty? Yeah, and they replaced all the money in the re- world. Yeah, they, they redid replaced, all of it. But yeah. he's like a side, but he's not like the main guy in it. You yeah, know? It's yeah, like, how yeah. can you... <laughs> How can you redo it when it's like the main character? Even though these things are all on green screen, it's probably way easier than it would have been to, you know, yeah. you know, axe a leading man out of a blockbuster from, you know, 20 years ago. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, I think we've, we've probably spent enough time talking yeah, about this. Yeah, we this. did. We um, did. Oh, yeah. can we yeah. get... Let's talk Streaming Wars. Let's, let's get can we, one more, one more movie thing real quick before we okay. get streaming. So, uh, big, big thing to me, and this really just bothered me, Sony postponed... Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. Two. Uh, part the, one. You mean? Part one. So they postponed it from, it was supposed to be later this year, to June of next year. Okay. Really irritated me. And more or less, I think it was the way the article was written, it said, but don't fret. They an- be excited because they announced the part two release date. I'm like, what? The- who cares? Yeah, who cares? I don't. About I, don't that? I don't care. Yeah. It's coming out after the first one. Just give me the damn did, first. Did one. they give you a reason why they no. postponed it? No. All right. There's, there's got to be. There's got to be a legit reason. So I'm not. It might be I'm like they just didn't like the weekend they were up against. And yeah, like clearing back out for Morbius. Maybe <laughs> um, they were going up against nothing. They were the only like October first, and then Halloween ends. They were the first movie. Movie. They were the first blockbuster in October, and yeah. then Halloween ends, and then the I Flash mean, after that in November. So there, they, ha- there could, they truly uh, had there nothing. Could, there could also have been issues with the uh, post production process. It could have been, but that's where that's it. it could be months. also like they're like you mentioned that part two. It's like maybe they're like we want to finish most of part two mm-hmm. before we release this. That way, we know what we're putting out there will fit with whatever we're working yeah. on with yeah. part two. Could be, could be, but like they announced this, they announced. Madam Web is coming up, and then I saw that Madam Web is going to be in uh, Craven the Hunter. But we knew that we knew that. Anyway. Yeah, we knew Craven was going to be there. They're yeah. just absolutely milking the most popular element of the MCU just for everything it has. Yeah, uh, it's yeah. incredible. It's I mean it's almost Sony. like half off to them, and like Sony. Somebody put it this way: like Sony doesn't give like a shit if it's a good enough movie. Oh no! Like at least like the MCU, they'll try to make it like salvageable. Yeah. They don't give a nope. shit. <laughs> They're no. just like they don't care. They are strip mining Spider Man for all he's worth, and yeah. it's it's yeah. it's kind of just hilarious. They've, to me, they've hit two nuggets. One of them was actually thanks to the MCU, yeah. right? And the other one they just stumbled upon into the Spider Verse. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. So, but that's that's now we can get into streaming. <laughs> There's a lot that happened. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah. late breaking news today. Not exactly in our purview, but uh, the CNN streaming yeah. service uh, <laughs> ends after less than a month. Uh, which, <laughs> damn! But I didn't what, even know it existed. What, what yeah. was even yeah. on that? What was on that? Just it was. News? was it, it was weird to me because CNN is like th- of the three major n- cable news network, the most broad. And they release like a niche product, like you know, like something like, oh, everybody kind of sort of watches this for ten minutes. Let's give them something they can pay twenty dollars a month for, yeah. you know? Uh, yeah. So they get rid of that after um, a downturn. Speaking of downturns, uh, the big news, <laughs> mm-hmm. um, which a lot of people are like, look, watch what happens here. Um, Netflix uh, globally lost two hundred thousand. Subscribers, um, admittedly, you know, they like pulled out of Russia and there yeah, was that, a bunch of mm-hmm. that hurt them. other things going on, but I guess they lost 600,000 domestically. Um, mm. so but yeah, that's, that's not the word, that's like not the thing that triggered it. It's oh, what triggered it? It's Netflix for the begin up to that. Announcement, oh, they said that they were expecting to gain throughout that quarter 2.5 million subscribers. Ouch. Ouch. And that is a huge difference to what they actually lost, what they did. Yeah. Lost. 
Oh, I mean, so, yeah, it's a big miss. But that's I mean, a huge miss. And then, then they that same day they announced next quarter they expect yeah. to lose two million more. So the forecast is like real, and that's what they're saying now. So yeah, um, I mean, I know I personally have stopped paying for Netflix, um, just because there's so nothing on fault. at the moment. Yeah, <laughs> well, no, but see, <laughs> Sam, the story is real because my, you know, because I did what the story said. Like everyone is doing this now. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> yeah. no one actually has Netflix anymore because I didn't and then i saw a story about it <laughs> yeah That's so it it's works. and it's not like it's <laughs> it's i love just because i look at this every day like i i almost love when companies lose in one day in this case overnight they lost the market value of essentially a small country <laughs> um so there's there's like seven african countries like they lost that market value of the entire gdp of those countries overnight yeah it's stunning and, they were like 700 dollars a share in like i think november and now it's like 250 or something like that yeah check where but yeah, it's it, i mean it's been substantial it, it was nuts so it dropped um, 100 bucks a share overnight and that's crazy crazy but it, yeah it's and it doesn't bode well when the next article i saw it's <laughs> It's Stranger Things cost thirty million dollars per episode yeah. to make, and I'm just the, like, oh god. The, the problem is, and you know, I I know I've started to talk about Netflix a lot, and there's still a lot of stuff I like on there. None of it's currently coming out, so I'm like, why am I paying for it? Right. Um, and to be honest, too, it's a monthly subscription. Yep. Can jump in, stick my feet in the water. It takes like a second to do. Mm-hmm. You know, turn it on, turn it off. Yeah. Um, so. But, you know, I just feel like there's a lot to watch. Not a lot of it is, like, compelling enough to be like, I can't yeah. cancel. Yeah. I mean, like, it did bum me out to be like, oh, I can't just throw on The Irishman for 30 minutes whenever I want. But, <laughs> like... As one normally does. Yeah, to fall asleep. That wasn't sarcastic at all for me, but... Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. But, you know, besides that, it's like, eh, yeah, whatever. I, I could... I could G Netflix for four months and come back for yeah. a month and get a good shot. Well, all you have oh, to yeah. do is wait for the net. Like, we talked about it a few months ago. Uh, like Netflix has that ability to find the next thing. Right. And everybody's attached to it for like a month. Right. And like, all you have to do is wait for that to happen. Be like, all right, I'll check it out. Okay. I'll subscribe for skin uh, squid game. Yeah. And then I'm out a month later. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and like, it's all dropped at the same time. So you don't have to worry about, you know, Waiting each episode to come right. out, and at the same time too, with um, with Netflix, it's like you don't. They release things all the time. You don't know what's gonna stick until it blows up on the internet. And by the time it blows up on the internet, it's like you, odds are you haven't seen it, right? Like who who actually sits down and watches everything? Like eventually it creates buzz, and at, when you hear about it, that's when you're like, all right, I'll go in and check it out. I guess. Did you yeah. guys? Did you guys see the? There was there was an article that released. I think um, I forget what the name of it was, but Real Good released a kind of price comparison for how much a streaming service costs versus the content that you're getting. Mm-hmm. So they they tallied up all like in totality the most movies out there is is Prime. The most movies, and then no, right. Netflix, Netflix, HBO, and then they even broke it down further, where it's like the most the movies for like eight plus on IMDb were okay, yeah. HBO mm-hmm. Max, and then they broke it down, and then they broke it down further per dollar. So like Prime Video has the most like the most high rated movies per dollar spent. Yeah, no, I think Prime always has been that. Prime has had like yeah. good yeah. selection of movies. The TV shows, although we'll get to one later, um, <laughs> haven't really grabbed me so much. I'm still going through Reacher, but it's like this is just fine, you know. Like yeah, it's I've, not. I've yeah. always struggled with Amazon Prime. Yeah, shows. like I I know um, the th- only one I've really liked is like Fleabag, and that's like definitely a not for everybody kind of yeah. show. Um, yeah, Amazon is like tough because like they had Amazon had what Carnival Row. Which was yeah. like okay, but like I got it got old. Wasn't fast. there some other sci-fi the boys, show? Um, oh yeah, well the boys is very popular. I mean, great. we're not none of us are. Well, I shouldn't say us. Chris, I, you watched the boys, yeah. right? I watched the first season. Yeah, yeah. So you haven't seen the 
second or the, was no, nah, it didn't. It didn't keep people. Me. People are really yeah. into the boys, though. Yeah, oh yeah. I mean, we're gonna have this Lord of the Rings show. That's obviously their their biggest. Yeah, by and far. it's not looking good. <laughs> yeah, but it's not. It's not. Like, we'll see. It, I'm not gonna. Yeah, no. But, I, yeah. I just it has buzz a, around it. Or it has a decent. Yeah. So the it has you know the the boys. It has the Expanse. It had Grand Tour, which yeah. is oh, yeah, essentially right. Top Gear. It has the yeah. boys. It had Jeremy Clarkson farming whatever that was. Which that people was huge. Loved. I heard yeah. people that love that. Good. Yeah, yeah. I, I liked it, but like people love that. And then you have mm. the Jack Ryan stuff. Clifford mm. the Big Red Dog is an original. Was that uh, really an original Prime seri- series? Series, but oh, it's, it's okay. just. I think it's an original uh, series. Fox Machina, you guys. You, yeah, yeah. You, yeah, like you got you got a good, a decent slate here. Um, Prime is also weird to me because it's the least economic of them. Because it's like, well, I just get it with this other thing from Amazon that I would get that has nothing to do with my viewing habits. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Like if I had to separately pay for Prime, mm. Mm, that yeah, actually man, would be kind of a tough one. Like I always man in the high castle. Oh yeah, like yeah. The, Prime is always like the last thing I look at because I'm always like, oh yeah, I got Prime. But it actually always has like a pretty good solid movie slate. Like, oh yeah, like I. Maybe it's just because the series are so weak that it's like, oh yeah, the the movies are good, but yeah. yeah, I just I feel like from what I've watched, I've seen from like Hulu, not so much Paramount Plus lately. Uh-uh. <laughs> Definitely not great marks for the Halo shows, but the the Taylor Sheridan um, two so far have been decent. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, no, I mean like HBO, Ma- just like the Max original, not even the HBO has like had like two really really good shows in the last mm-hmm. six months for me. And, like, Netflix just doesn't – I just don't get there. I, I mean, maybe, like, Squid Game would have been the last one, yeah. but I, – I do find myself going to HBO Max first now. Mm. Um, yeah. Welcome to the purple side. Yeah, right? <laughs> well, I, the the key that I, for me with um with HBO Max is they have Cartoon Network. Oh, yeah. Which is huge Like because, like, I mean, there's, there's shows on there that are, like – you know, geared more towards older, like adults, but it's still a cartoon. Mm. Um, they have Samurai Jack on there. I think they do. Because I was thinking about. Yeah, I, I, got, never, I, gotta, I never sat down and watched. I got to sit down and rewatch Samurai Jack. It's a great, great show. That's what I'm thinking too. Like when they, you know, finally like they closed the Discovery merger, mm-hmm. um, and when they finally like integrate Discovery Now or whatever yeah. it's called into Plus, I think. Discovery yeah. Plus into HBO Max. Not HBO now. Um, <laughs> when they you finally integrate that, even if it's five dollars more a month, it's like, oh, this is literally yeah. like really good stuff and a bunch of stuff I can it's, watch like while I'm folding laundry. Yeah, you know? it's it's, it's kind of like nobody talks about it, but like now Nat Geo is with Disney, right? Like no one realizes this. Well, I Nat Geo was with Fox, and then when yeah. no, I know, I know, but like when Disney Plus came out, but there's no reason they couldn't make that their own discovery. Oh yeah, easily. You know, and I think isn't isn't that the one where like they have like Obama like oh no that's on Netflix doing like nature documentary um oh, voiceovers that's <laughs> like narration yeah it's interesting um so so H- oh, it just on HBO yeah. HBO has this like awesome tendency to just insert these things into just added that I didn't know I needed like mm-hmm. the Tony Hawk documentary or the Spielberg documentary that came out. Oh, the Spielberg. Yeah, that was or, a while ago, but that was good. Yeah. Yeah, but it was just like you're you're I mostly dabble in the just added section in HBO mm. Max. Oh yeah. Cuz it's yeah. all the stuff that, you know, just came in theaters or or whatever it is, but they like randomly insert these things. Like, I mean, I knew the Harry Potter thing was coming out, but like that was cool and that's for me. That's 100% for me. Yeah. But right. then you run into things like Gaming Wall Street, which is about the GameStop Oh yeah, you know fiasco and and <laughs> rip off. So like I, I didn't know I needed that, but after I started watching, like I don't know where my life would be without this. <laughs> it's just yeah. they they I don't know. HBO is the first the first choice. Yeah, it, it's you gotta, you honestly go become. First. I sit down on my computer, or I'm not, not my computer, my uh in my living room. I take up the remote. I say HBO Max. There you go. I've been watching Tokyo Vice on there. Really good. Yeah. Is that good? Fellow, Is that good? Fellow semi canceled the uh, leading man, Ansel Elgort. Um, oh, yeah, oh, it's it's right. really good though. It's, <laughs> it's I, if there's I, I anybody really who's like got it. like one foot out the door, one foot in the door, it's it he's he's that guy. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if it's like a contained story or if they're setting up a second season. I'm really hoping it's a contained story. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
before I forget, uh, I know none of you guys watch it, and I don't know why. It, it is actually a good reason to have Netflix every once in a while, but season three of Love, Death, and Robots was just announced for May, like end of May. Okay. It Like, if you've never seen it, but you like sci-fi... Isn't this animated? It's live-action animated. It's like an anthology. Okay. With, uh, I think David Fincher is one of the producers of it. Oh, okay. And oh, it's just yeah. like a bunch of random artists, writers, and whatnot. They just write a short story, and some of them are horror. Some of them are hardcore sci-fi. Yeah, it's like genre. Yeah, yeah it's all... But it's... Oh, man. it I cannot recommend... If you like sci-fi... I cannot recommend this more. Yeah. I, I might have to be with John on the whole Netflix thing, though. I might. Yeah, no, no. I, 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 I might do Stranger Things and then nix yeah. it until Witcher Season 3 comes out. Like, I, yeah. I, I, so our Sam and our sister actually showed me Love, Death, and Robots. And I remember my dad being like, oh, yeah, you should check it out. It's pretty good. It wasn't until I was, like, forced to sit down and watch it. I was like... Oh my god, this is amazing! Yeah, like I cannot wait for this third season. Like, it, oh my god, like I've been dying for it, and like I started watching it last year. It's so good. Chris, do you know what got announced as a sequel? <gasps> Greyhound. <laughs> yes, I saw that. <laughs> oh yeah, they're doing like a um uh like Band of Brothers. Oh, that's a totally separate news. But yes, yeah, yeah they they're that's like done filming. But yeah. yeah. Um, but no, they're, they're making a direct sequel to Greyhound, which Perfect. is so Perfect. like unnecessary, but like also just, yes, give it to yeah, me. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, sign me up. It's this time the sub flies. I don't, I look Sam. I don't even I know what it would I be. I can't, I can't fathom. Like, I can't stress this enough where it's probably the most Sam worthy movie I've, I've seen <laughs> since we've been doing this podcast. Yeah. It's not even, like, a matter of, like, the quality. It's just, like, as much as, like, like without a doubt, I know you'll like it. Yeah. Like, it's, like it's, it's certain. It's not, right. like, like uh, without a doubt, I know you're going to give it, like, between a 7.8 and an 8.2. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that, because I've seen, like, trailers of that, and I'm like, it looks kind of boring, but... No, it, it's it's not. It's not. But I think Sam's going to be like, critical I, of it. I think it'll be fine. I just, I don't know if I'll love it. The video quality will probably is eight point two a love. I don't know. Eight point two no, would be a love. Ooh, I think he's I... gonna come in at eight. eight All right, eight, eight, eight maybe eights for me is like I really enjoyed this. Okay, maybe maybe it's a seven point four to an eight is the is the confidence interval. Anyway, I think I think it'll be over an eight. We'll we'll put it to the test at some point. One day, point. when you guys get the Apple TV Plus subscription, and Never I just kidnap you for a weekend and watch the like forty eight hour free trial and just consume like all of Foundation and dude, dude I I I'd go I go over to the projector room and watch it together. Like I I go do that. Greyhound, all right, you guys. Oh yeah, definitely. That's that's a projector I mean, worthy. Movie. I'm gonna be honest. I'm like scared of Foundation because it's like I'm a fan and I know I'm unpleasable. <laughs> so yeah. like I don't know if I'll enjoy this, even if I it's still good, have yet to finish. I, I have enjoy. one episode left and I've yet to finish, and I got my rid of my Apple Plus, so which is have... not giving me confidence in this series. Oh, and, oh, and, just... and um, for all mankind too. Oh man, it's such a yeah. single channel. It's incredible. <laughs> um, okay. I think we've, we've, oh no, well, we've done our news, but we yeah. do have to talk about an important trailer. Yes, we do. Um, Thor, <laughs> Love, and Love, Thunder. Love and Thunder, um, had, what's that, a teaser trailer? We'll it was say? a teaser. It was a teaser. No, they labeled it as a teaser. It's a freaking trailer. It's a trailer, but it's a teaser trailer. But I, I don't know what's really going on. So I think that, yeah, that yeah, to I me think is a like, teaser, it's like it gave us a general vibe, but yeah. I don't have any idea what the story yeah, is. Yeah, right? this is this yeah. one is more of a teaser trailer than most actually, teaser trailers. Actually, you're you're right. You're right. Thinking reflecting back on I'm like, this is a true one because yeah. it showed you that it showed you the tone of the movie. Yep. It, it gave you zero vibe. plot. It gave you zero plot, and right. it introduced and it introduced a screenshot of the character that everybody knew was coming, but not the it. one we all wanted. Um, yeah, not the one we were actually interested in seeing, which is Christian Bale. I want to see Gore. Who's that? Uh, the uh, God Killer. That's who he is. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Yeah, you didn't get to see him. 
Was it? Did we see his back like real quick? I don't think so. And that wasn't him. He's okay. like a gray alien with like almost like Leku from like, like that Twi'leks have in Star Wars. Oh, big. And he has like yeah. no nose. And oh. he's just like an angry alien. When are they going to do the whole, oh, and I can shape shift into a normal looking man? <laughs> like, <laughs> they like, just add that to everything. So like, like what they did in um, uh, Ghost Rider with the uh, with Blackout. Is that what? Blackheart. I didn't even realize they did that, but like, I was uh, Was it Wes Bentley? Like his character in Oh, that? really? How he's okay. just like a human, like the whole time. It's like, that's not what he looks like in the comics. And then like Mephisto's just, uh, oh God, what's his face? Oh, um, what? I can't think of it either. Oh my God. He's uh, a famous actor. Fonda. Uh, Peter Fonda. Peter Fonda. Yeah. yeah. I was just like Peter Fonda. It's like, that's not what Mephisto looks like. But all right. I guess it's going to be Peter Fonda. He's just a dude. <laughs> but you know what was awesome? Sam Elliott. Anyways, <laughs> that's my little Ghost Rider corner. <laughs> yeah. Wow. We'll do a con on Classic on both of them <laughs> someday. I've actually never seen the sequel. Nicolas Cage is in a Marvel movie, dude. I know. He was wow. almost Superman. Which I is not that. surprising given no, who Nicolas all. Cage is. Yeah. Mm. And, like, you know, the name. Yeah, he's literally named after a Marvel character. Well, not literal name, but... Yeah, what do you mean? But his last name's Coppola. I know. Yeah, yeah, no, his no. Stage but his stage name, name oh, is yeah, named yeah. after a Marvel character. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, so where are we going with this? Does anybody have? I don't have any Thor, takes on this. Thor. Trailer. I mean, I'm in. It, I'm in. Obviously, it's Taika Waititi again. Looks like a fun time. And then Natalie like, Portman looks looks jacked. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> did did good, you see good. her at Comic Con? Like when they announced that she was going to be Lady Thor. Yeah, she was not. She was jacked. Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, was she, she? Oh yeah, like she lifted up the hammer started. and you could like you could see the definition. I didn't. I in couldn't her tell it yeah. at that because yeah. that was a couple years ago. I know. And I, she already I started training at yeah. that point. Yeah, too. like. But she yeah, was... but like I've seen like there's like a picture of her on the set mm-hmm. in which she was oh, in yeah. a co- costume, yeah. but she looked jacked. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. So it's like all right, damn. Yeah, I'm excited. Give me. So you gotta you gotta give me a good ending to Thor though, like that. He, you gotta have a good ending to that because yeah. it seems like they're gonna not write him off, but eventually you know, he'll be put him out to pasture and yeah. Eventually he'll become like Odin and just like stop fighting. Well, that's kind of looks like what's yeah, going on what's here. Going He's on like, ah, oh, yeah, I'm done hanging it up. I'm done. What do we? It's what fun. do we? What What do we expect the training montage to be? Because like, they're gonna oh, get, yeah. we're yeah. gonna oh, get. We already, one. Oh, we, we already, already saw, saw it in the trailer. Yeah. We yeah. we saw part of it, but you know yeah. we're gonna get oh, a full it's gonna training. Be great. It's gonna be hysterical. It's gonna be good. Yeah. I, th- this is one of those where it's like I don't want to really think about it. I just know I'm gonna go see it yeah, and yeah. I'll enjoy it. Yeah. I, th- I think like yeah. if the less I see of this, the happier yeah. I think I'll be. Um, I'm just really excited, like because I, I Thor is a character that can be hit or miss, as we've already seen, mm. but in the right hands, I. You know, Taika Waititi, uh, it, it's definitely a success. And the more of that I get, the happier I will be. Yeah. This is going to be a huge blockbuster 4th of yeah. July weekend. Or no, it's, it's the weekend no. after 4th of July. Okay. It's the 8th. comes out on the 8th. <sighs> Can't wait. Well, there you go. Um, it's going to be yeah. a huge weekend. We just have a multiverse between then, right? Yeah. Yes. That's coming up soon. Yeah. It's... That's two weeks. Two weeks May, May 6th. May 6th. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm definitely getting away to watch that one of yeah, those gotta, days. Yeah, we got to hire a babysitter for that one, I think. Oh, we could we could double-head that, by the way. <laughs> With the other thing we were talking about the day after, May 7th. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's true. We could. We could. Anyways. Uh, anyway, so, <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, do we have anything else on the trailer? <laughs> Um, I'm very happy with uh, the fact that they made Guns N' Roses for me personally like excitable. <laughs> I was like, oh, I, I mean, know the song. It, it goes with the, the whole like tone of the whole yeah Taika Waititi Thor stuff, which oh, is yeah. like very retro '80s esque. 
Kinda, it's very weird because yeah. I've had Sweet Child of Mine in my head for like a couple weeks because it, it, it plays prominently in the first episode of Tokyo Vice. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, it's, it's, it's also, uh, looks like we get Korg, who's going to stay throughout the whole yeah. Well, Oh, yeah, of course. It's Taika Waititi. Can they lock so. in Taika for that contract? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> well, I, it's, I don't know if they would have kept him with the Guardians. or No, you know, no, he's, no, he's tied with Thor. Knowing Taika Waititi, he always likes putting himself in his yeah. movies. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I almost want I don't I don't want to I don't want to say it because I it's not one of those things I want to see but it kind of has to happen for me I kind of want the Guardians to be like leave immediately yeah. it, it, I don't, it's I definitely don't want them in. I get that vibe from them. it's yeah. it feels like yeah. they're in the first and last ten minutes yeah of the something movie. like that and, and maybe not even I, the last I would say well if yeah. it was the last I would say it sets up Guardians three oh you know what it probably does. Because like so, why not? or even the first or even the first, just tell no, us where you're I'm, going. I'm I, saying I'm saying like I'm, post credit scene is the Guardians. Okay, that's what I'm going at. That's I'm gonna going to stick with first and last ten. All right, little yeah, U post, shape. I'm post I'm feeling like they're probably in half of the first act, and that's it. I don't think they Maybe. come back. Mm-hmm. So is Christian Bale's character the one they tease in the credits of uh, the first Thor? I mean, not, not no. Ragnarok? No. No, that's a different guy. Yeah. That's Eric something, right? Um, oh, Adam. Adam Warlock. Oh, Adam War- oh, and Guardians 2. Oh, no, Guardians 2. You're right. That Yeah, Adam Warlock is the guy in the cocoon. Okay, never mind then. And that's going to be the dude from... Um, Stuff. It's the guy with the weird eyebrows. Yeah, um, I know who you're talking about. Adrian Brody? No. <laughs> that's the guy with the nose. No, um... Uh, he, he got swole he too. This the guy with the weird eyebrows. Oh my god, he was in uh, that weird cult movie, like uh, Midsommar. Oh. Uh, he was also in movie. Bandersnatch on Netflix. The um, oh my god, the what? guy was in Midsommar. Yeah, the actor. How am I the only one here? No, I know who you talking but about. That's right. just generic. I don't. He's like the, the one who was the boyfriend. The guy who pees on the tree. Oh, Will Will Poulter. Thank you. Oh, yeah, sorry. He's oh, in yeah. uh, the Hunger Games, not the Hunger Games, the Maze Runner. Yes. Yeah. Yes, he is. Okay. Really? Okay. We're the um, Millers. <laughs> uh-huh. So, you want to talk about sci-fi real quick? Sure. Little, little. Uh, sure. Did I don't know if anyone else besides Chris and me watched this one. Uh, it's called Outer Range. I, uh, I watched it. Oh, Sam watched it. Nice. Yeah. Um, on Amazon. Uh, very much the vibes of like, hey, guys, we know Yellowstone is super popular. You guys want to watch something that's kind of like that? <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Um, this yeah. one, which takes place in Wyoming, not Montana, though it's, the other one's called Yellowstone. It's totally um, different. Yeah, totally different. Josh <laughs> Brolin's in it. He has nothing to do with the Taylor Sheridan universe or anything like that. Yeah, wasn't in Sicario twice. Um, <laughs> anyway, no, this show, though, like at its surface level – is kind of like exactly like the kind of show I would love. And well, having watched it, kind of into it. Not going to lie. It's um, about Josh Brolin who, you know, the whole oh, the West is dying. You no know, yeah, little very guy. Yeah, very like stock standard modern Western kind right. of story. You know, and like, I'm going to be honest, the whole like Western, like modern Western thing was kind of losing me. I'm like, this is, this is a little like boring and stuff. Mm. And then there's a whole... Yeah, <laughs> there's a void. There, and he goes out of his way to remind us that there is a void yes. uh, multiple times. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's really just Josh Bro, and this happens in the first episode. Can't be legally un- not allowed to be a spoiler. Um, that there's just a giant fucking hole in his uh, in his uh, pasture. A really creepy hole. Yeah, he can't see the bottom of it. Like the dust is like collecting, floating on, the top on it. Yeah, and like, yeah. Yeah. Um, there's a, where was, when did we see the Buffalo? Was that the uh, first time he goes out re- there? No, it's in the opening scenes of the show. Well, yeah, you know, we get those like then. little clips and stuff. Right. Yeah. But uh, well, wasn't there a Buffalo with <coughs> arrows in it? Yeah, that was like once he, once first he time. sticks okay. his hands in the yeah, first Yeah, when time, he sticks yeah. his hand in. Yeah. That's, it's a very strange show. Also sort of going on in the background of this is, uh, this fan, this rival family is moving in on him. Uh, the patriarch is with, or, or 
uh, played by Will Patton, who's also on Yellowstone, and is just like perfect. Like, there's a scene very early on where he's just like talking to a dead buffalo yeah. and doing this soliloquy, and like I had it on. I put it on during breakfast, and I like shut it off at that point, being like, "Okay, this show demands my full attention." <laughs> like, it's not even like a soliloquy; it's like him grunting at it too. Yeah, <laughs> like, there's a lot of like, like a lot of this show is like tough talking and yelling at God. <laughs> there's really like no in between, and there's just a lot of like very long monologues, and that part's like a little like okay, but like another part of me kind of just loves that too. Like, it's like kind of dumb. The show has this habit of like kind of like losing me for a bit and then it just has one scene mm. that pulls me back in yeah like Wait, well, especially okay, the which, second the, episode the second episode at towards the end right i, I mean like oh yeah the end, end. oh the very end the yeah, very end yeah. definitely pulled me back in but like which, i don't know if we do we want to say what happened at that point or I mean, we we have nothing really much to say about it yeah but like no. just one of those great like and you know it, it gets to the point with some of these mystery box shows where you're like okay what are they going to show me that I haven't seen and truthfully this isn't like totally new but yeah. man it really still grabs you yeah yeah but like, so they let this this is the scenario where you bit the you bit the hook in the beginning and then you're just kind of running along and running along and running along and like that the final two minutes of that episode this is the fisherman just pulling that hook right down yeah, your throat right. and you are getting stuck on it. I, but it's, in that second episode, it had like two moments that like pulled me back in. The first one was that whole like monologue by the rival patriarch about like the erotic <laughs> picture. Oh, oh, that dude! I was trying to place where I heard that from, and now I know. Yeah, yeah. he gets <laughs> he into just erotic gives this whole art. speech about it. it's like I try to get these erotic pictures because I just wanted to feel something. It turned out it's the stuff I couldn't see. It just like yeah. comes out of nowhere, yeah, and it's amazing. It really is. Like, and like, <laughs> yeah. And then the second one was the prayer. Yeah. Where he's just, he's just yelling at God the whole time. It's just like, I don't fucking know what's going on. Just tell it, me. There is a void. <laughs> 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 and I love how like the daughter, his granddaughter, just walks in like right at the end and doesn't even hear it. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. What, what um like those, or, those like at those... the end where it's like pass the fucking potatoes. <laughs> yeah, that's right, the potatoes. <laughs> the, um, it's good, dude. You... I've, I'm I'm definitely like hooked by it. Yeah. What I don't do know if I'm guys... gonna finish it, but what did you guys think of so this is this is the thing that was losing me. And and, and I'm still not fully committed to this yet. Um the like not who done it, but that kind of let's try and hide the crime type thing. Like I I, I don't the, care for that. I feel like we've yeah. seen it hundreds of times. And yeah. I just move on. I don't care. I, I think it's care. really yeah, I think it's just going to be the sort of thing of, like, a show like this will have, like, a supernatural element and then some, like, crisis in the actual world, so to speak, or, like, the real world. Yeah, something to give this whole thing, like, some kind of structure. Right, and, like, just raise the stakes and just generally, like, set some kind of clock, like, you know, somebody's clearly going to know more about this cover-up at some point. And plus, then there's the stuff with his, um, oh, the sense I got, what is it, his... It's not his daughter. It's like his son's wife. Or his, yeah, yeah, his daughter. I couldn't quite tell because I think was... they're two brothers. So yeah, I think. So. Yeah, they're two. I don't brothers. think Wyoming's that. You know. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. So one. So his uh, daughter-in-law is like just disappeared like yeah. six months ago, and they haven't. Or they, nine, uh, I think. They yeah. Did. Essentially, they've, they've given up like looking. For yeah, the her. FBI gave up, or they moved did, it down priority. Right. Did you Did you guys make the connection uh, when? the wife asked like who shot you and he's just like oh luke one of the old one of the boy the old the other boys did yeah I, and it's just kind of nonchalant i didn't even think about it and i didn't even realize like wait he got shot somewhere yeah i, I remember seeing that and i was like uh maybe i just missed that i don't know yeah because yeah. you know, i guess you sort of think like maybe did he get shot in that chase yeah um, like I, I just i didn't remember that. if i just like conflating this with no country for old men again like i don't <laughs> i don't know um yeah, then when Anton Sugar came out of the void. <laughs> um, yeah, it's 
I don't. I feel like the only sort of problem, or not, not, not problem. I foresee, but like possible issue is the like. Okay, I really want to know about what the void is, and I don't. All the other stuff is like, you know. Yeah, yeah, like like secondary. the stock standard like modern Western stuff just isn't. And it's almost me. it's almost like too on the nose. Some of the other stuff, like I almost think like maybe that's actually like a reason for that. You know, mm, like yeah. it's almost a little well, too like, cliche kind of, kind of the whole point is like what if we just take this weird thing and put it in a cliche plot right and just see what happens yeah and then the our our like two minute um scene at the end where of which first off i love the scene when he's like what does yellow mean to you yeah yeah where you're like <laughs> well, like i remember wa- watching that and i was like these are kind of some Specific. random <laughs> questions, but like I remember, he was like, "Do you work for the government?" And I'm like, "Huh? <laughs> like, yeah, or do you work for a mining operator?" Which, like, again, is like kind of a generic, like, like "Oh, the big corporation's going to come in and take our farm," or like the government's yeah. trying to keep track of me. But it was like a little like off center, where it's mm-hmm. like you never really establish any of that, right? And then what happens at the end and you're like oh this actually makes all sense to me yeah i just i want to i i might not feel this way but like i really just want to see the next episode which i guess is tomorrow or you know could be depends when i want to go to bed but um, (laughs) (laughs) i'd be waiting there but okay so i guess i guess we're we're more or less in it sounds like maybe not super super but like definitely like see where this goes for a little bit yeah i i have to admit I sat down to watch it today. Knew nothing about the show. Oh, really? It like, had, I it saw had a like, crazy trailer. Outer yeah. range, or like, like I, I think you guys originally sold it as like open range. Yeah. And I was like, oh, so it's just like a modern <laughs> Western kind of thing. And then I read like the synopsis for the first one, and it's like he discovers a mystery. I'm like, oh, maybe it's maybe yeah. it's a mystery or something, like a murder mystery or something. Yeah. Like and that. then like I kind of scrolled up, and you know how Amazon has like they yeah. play a little trailer, and I saw the whole, and I'm like. Oh, now I'm in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think the typo hurt me because I didn't watch this. Um, give it, because, give it a shot. Yeah, no, it, I think based on what yeah. you guys have been saying, I'm it's, like, oh, it's I might actually, actually like a this. sci-fi show. So, like, I didn't know it was a sci-fi show, and then when you were like, oh, never mind, it's outer range. I'm like, all right, still western. Like, I don't <laughs> care. Like, no one's told me it was a sci-fi show here. I don't go on. Well, Prime it's all very, that often. yeah, it's very like lightly. I might I might have shot the trailer out, but like no, I wouldn't have uh, expected you to know that. Yeah, yeah. So that's, so that's why is... I was like, I don't care. And the fact <laughs> so... that like Chris and Sam didn't really say much about it, I was like, I guess no one's watching this. Is just well, this is Taylor Sheridan shows or whatever. No, yeah, no, yeah. no, no, <laughs> no. I know. This I, is I know that now. Th- this is a show that's either gonna like I'm gonna fall out next yeah, episode or it's we, really just gonna sink me in the whole so way. like a typical prime show if it leans into <clears throat> like the modern western stuff i think i'm out but if it leans into the more whole related stuff i'm back yeah i, I also just really like the whole like <coughs> chronos monologue the what where, the chronos monologue oh yeah where it's like wait is this like are we getting into Greek mythology? Here? Oh, that was incredible! And they dropped that like sh- like the like the first like minute of yeah. it, and I'm like, oh, this is fucking great. <laughs> yeah. First off, I just love Brolin too. Like he's just like, especially like just him being a cowboy in Wyoming. It's like I, I, <laughs> it could the whole could never even show up, and I would that would be like my favorite show. So <laughs> anyway, okay. Also, also the weird whale sounds. Wow, I didn't catch that. There was a oh, whole like, bunch like of during stuff. during the flashback? No, no, like the, the when he, before he finds the hole, when he's <laughs> yeah. hearing the stuff, oh, it yeah. kind of sounds like a whale. Oh. I was getting weird was? Uh, lighthouse vibes from it. Yeah. Hmm. Well, we will talk more about the hole once Sean's watched it. Yes, yes. And maybe maybe have some more info. Keep, so Keep... Uh, Tune in next time. The hole or the talk. void or whatever. You no, want. it looked like let's, uh, let's do. It. This there is a, a void. Weeks. Well, it, this it, is a co- okay. The, uh, this tomorrow, the next two episodes drop. So it looks like they're doing oh, okay. two episodes at a time. Yeah, HBO has been doing this too, where they do. Th- so Tokyo Vice, they've done three, two, two, and then another show. They did that too, which is okay. like an interesting schedule. So, I do like getting multiple. <laughs> me too. To start, especially if it's a brand new yes, series. Yes. Like what's the thing that's going to bring, like make me want to watch yeah, this? Give me a vibe. 
Because yeah. I feel like the, the pilot episode, like I almost kind of like hate pilots at this point because they have yeah. to like do so much and they are they have like a lot of the same tropes. Yep. This one, unfortunately, did the same thing that re- like at the moment is the like uh, like where they they start they the first thing they show you is like halfway through the episode or at the end of the oh, episode that, and yeah. they flash back and it's like kind of it's been done it's, it's just not it's even, not even like that it's been done it's just that like almost all of them i feel like do that like yeah. almost none are just like oh this, yeah we're just gonna tell a story but then know. how it actually ends it's right. like oh I, yeah i am I'm, I'm curious whether or not it's like a a test case where you know if say hbo is tra- tracking their user viewers you know that westworld was released every week and what if they see that their numbers have dropped f- from, you know, episode six to ten? So that means that every week isn't enough. Where if they release two mm-hmm. episodes, you know, out of ten, if they release two, three, there won't two, be whatever yeah. it is. There won't be as big of a drop as. Or what it could be is they're trying to early on see if they got a hit here, right? Yeah. Where it's like, okay, if you stick around for another episode, we know you're enjoying this. Mm. Yeah. That's the crazy thing, too, is, like, they know, like, what scene you turned it off. Or, like, you know, 60% of the people who turned it off in the first 10 minutes did it during this scene sort of thing. You know, it's like, this didn't work. Yeah. Yeah, but... Which is crazy that Netflix has that and still fucks up, but... Oh, sorry. (laughs) What would you... Well, what what would you... Like, just trying to think that... I mean, you already made it. You already paid for it. It's just releasing it. And I guess... Like, who cares if it's a hit at that point? It's already out. If it's a hit, yeah, sure, maybe make another season, hype it up, but... Yeah, you, you might I don't be, know like, if that advertising. Would determine, yeah, I don't know if that would determine your release dates. I, th- I think it's just... I, I would think it's more of a viewership thing. If they release yeah. three weeks, all ten episodes within four weeks, instead of ten episodes over ten weeks, you know, people are more inclined to finish watching it. I, I know the entirety f- that way. The first show I noticed this was at uh, Station Eleven um, on HBO, and that show I thought it was actually going to be specific to this show because it had like sort of a dual timeline thing going, and it would be one week is like at this point in time, and then another one is like a flashback sort of episode. So it would be like you would get one episode of each timeline each week. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it's just something they're they're doing. Hulu does it now too. They drop three at once and then one one one. Huh. So. Let's um right. yeah. Anyway, all right. So we'll we'll stick around with that. Um, we're gonna I guess talk Moon Knight now. Yeah, right? let's let's hop into Moon. Been Knight. Been a couple weeks. Yeah. Uh. So we're at four episodes now. Four. Yeah. Um. Mm-hmm. I think we talked about it after just the one. Mm-hmm. Um. So, anyways, uh, this show, uh, it. <sighs> I would say first two episodes, I don't know how you guys feel, felt like it was dragging its feet. Like, there was something interesting there, but it was just like, I don't want to go. Like, I don't want to deal with it yet. Like, uh, it's, it's a secret. I'm not I telling. Mean, the, yeah. the problem it's... with the show so far is there's no, like... Hook? Je ne sais quoi. <laughs> <laughs> there's no, like... There's, yeah, Can you explain the... what you mean? <laughs> <laughs> But the, the, yeah, there's no. You mean, did you mean by the way, raison d'être, reason for being? Maybe that. I don't okay. Know. Just, just so, something untangible. Yeah, it's just, just a little bit off. Yeah. Just, a, but it's like because yeah. it's like this feels like it's less than the sum of its parts. Yeah. Oh, it, for sure. There's a bunch of interesting characters. Don't get me wrong, but like the the way that it it's going about it's going about very slowly. Yeah. Like trying to figure out what's going on when it's like kind of obvious what's going on. And it's just like, come on, episodes. Just like this TV show needs to catch up with the audience. I'm also like really? just in kind of just in general, and this isn't even just a Marvel thing, but like doing all these like globe spanning shows that are like just clearly on like different sound stages, you mm-hmm. know? Like not really feeling like you're in I the place. I believe this was actually filmed in Egypt. Yeah, oh, well, I think it might have been Jordan. It was. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. So, um, the I director. I don't think Americans are allowed in Egypt right now. Well, luckily, uh, the Did, director okay. is, I believe, Egyptian. So. Yeah, yeah. I, um, because he 
said after watching Wonder Woman 84, yeah. which is in yeah. Egypt at one point, and he went, holy crap, I'm not doing that. He's like, I want to legit represent Egypt for what Egypt he is. He said he was like insulted by yeah. that movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like he went out of his way and he was like, no, I'm going to make this e- an Egyptian show. Like, So it feels legit and authentic and you know power to him but like like i said the first two episodes it just kind of dragged yeah the problem is is like there's so many shows now that are trying to do the lost thing and like westworld where it's like a mystery yeah. box i mean look the one we just talked about is right somewhat like that but then like you have all these other shows that are like trying to set that up and are just trying to be deceptive yeah like really just for the point of like deception and just like trying to like suck you in for a couple extra episodes mm-hmm. you're right though. I, I did get that sense especially with like the steve stevie thing and yeah. you know like once he actually like is the I mean, at least like in the third episode, it seems like I have not watched the fourth one, but, you know, right. guys, talk yeah. whatever. Um, yeah. But in the third episode, you know, the POV does sort of shift from Stevie to what I figure, what's his name? Mark. Yeah. Mark. Um, yeah. And that's like a little bit more interesting to me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Once um, once Steve and uh, Mark. When, yeah. Once you start getting that. that, yeah, that the back and forth. Back and forth they they the understand two. that each other exist. And like, because I mean, even at the end of the first one where you had like Mark and the the mirror and be like, give me control. And mm-hmm. he finally get, takes control and he becomes Moon Knight. Which was a cool scene. It was an right. awesome scene. And then, you know, you kind of don't get much for a bit. But mm. either way, <laughs> but third, the third episode, I definitely feel like this ep- this show starts heading in the direction that you, ca- you kind of want it to be, um, where they end up going to Egypt. And, you know, it's more, you know, like, I... I you get another I, cool fight scene too. Yeah, you had some episode. you had some cool night fight scenes, but you also are introduced to the gods, which are the gods' avatars. Mm-hmm. Um, which thank, is, thank know, God we don't nice. linger on that though. No, it, but it's I nice. Don't, I don't want to linger on that. It's nice world building that we've got that going on. Um, at, least, at least an explanation. Just, what the hell's going on exactly. with all these? Yeah, right. It, it yeah. just it just reminds me a little bit like we were getting a little bit too much eternally. So I just <laughs> wanted to. Uh, <laughs> Mm-hmm. Try and get away from that. So, um, yeah. So the third episode, you know, dealt with. I mean, l- heavy on the Conshu stuff and like who Conshu is, why he's doing what he's doing and whatnot, and like the avatars explaining what the avatars are, uh, kind of thing, and not really explaining why Mark slash Steve are there, um. Like why they're conscious avatars, but you get an understanding on why um, Mark pushed his ex-wife away. Yeah, because yeah. Conchu wants her as his I mean, ex- he already avatar. Ex- you explained that in the second. Was episode. that the second episode that yeah. they explained it? Yeah, but it was one t- of the first or second ones. Yeah. yeah, I thought that was the third, but either way, um, then the fourth episode um, felt very uh, the mummy slash national treasure to me. Dude, oh, okay. it was kind of horror y. They had a good sense like, of horror, too. Yeah, yeah. We, we got we got some horror elements there with, like, especially, like, whatever those guardians were. Yeah. That's why I said the mummy. It felt very, like, yeah. Brendan Fraser's The Mummy. Especially with the. Yeah, the, the clicking. I can't, and I can't stuff. even do it, but. <laughs> yeah, no, they were, they were freaky because you're like, what is that thing? Um, you don't like, truly get a clear like, picture no. either, too. So even when the. Uh, the uh, his ex-wife is attacked by one like you they focus on it, you're like i still don't know what that thing looks like like what is, it's not because the lighting was bad it's, it's just, just black like, on black yeah it was just yeah. weird looking whatever and man nice. that led to it that helped yeah. it <laughs> oh yeah and um definitely was creepy love i i really enjoyed this episode like i said it was very you know action-packed the fourth episode picked up a bit and yeah. like i'm gonna say most of the episode way, I don't know if it, it pulled me back in. I and then the, the end happened. Yeah, well, I like <laughs> I like the change of pace where all of, now it's like, you know, you know, going into uh, tombs and yeah, you know, like, tomb raiding. But it, my my whole thing was like, I don't know if this is enough yeah. to keep me going. Right, and then he gets shot, and, and then he gets dies. shot, and, and dies. then and then you go down a whole <laughs> legion road. Yeah, then and it then goes it's just like sh- let's just go for the ride. <laughs> yeah, and, and then we just are like, like, oh, he's in a mental yeah, hospital. Yeah. Then, then it like then <laughs> after he gets shot, that's when like oh spoilers by the way. Yeah, yeah, he gets shot and he sup- dies. Um, maybe but, or maybe so not. 
Uh, Once that starts with the mental hospital, that's like somebody watching, like the director watching WandaVision, somebody being like, this is a crazy show. And he's like, here, hold my beer. <laughs> and it's just like, what is going on now? So Wait, are like, those, we get... were those people in the mental hospital all like the characters from? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Good. Okay. So, okay. Was, you know, those are all I thought I was avatars? thinking about that. No, no, no. no, those no, are no, like no, no all, people. all the members of the cult. Yeah. His, his oh. ex-wife is there. Yeah. So, you know, the oh. guy with the be- the big guy with the beard. Yeah. He was, he's the guy who gets like the dissected. Officer. No, that, that, he was, was the, the, he was the oh, police was officer, the police, that, yeah. and then he got dis- yeah, then, dissected. Yeah. And okay, then, yeah. Now he's a, a warden. Uh, right. or, or, yeah. or, no. Orderly. 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 Well. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, it just goes batshit crazy. Uh, Mark and Steven are Don't on... Don't say the end. Don't say the end. Don't spoil it for John, because it's, oh, it's okay. too good. It's too good. The, I mean, the you kind of did, but... <laughs> no, no, no. The last thing he's, he's saying, the last thing. Oh, yeah, you kind of did. Yeah, um, yeah, but I mean, come on. But yeah, <laughs> it's so different. Mark and Steven are working together. They're both separate entities right now. <laughs> I don't know how. why, but I wait. Felt... So it's like bizarre. So it's like opposite. Um. Oh shit! What's the name of that uh, Leo movie? Oh, uh, um, Shutter Island. Shutter Island. Yeah. So it's like opposite Shutter Island. I guess. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. It's like now. Yeah. But like, there's, like, there's uh, sarcophagus. Ethan Hawke's in... character is now he's, the, he's the doctor. The he's doctor. The Mark Ruffalo. No, he was um was it uh who's the guy in charge of the uh Oh, he's um, a dance? Ethan Hawk. No, uh No, who's uh, Oh god, uh, Kingsley, Ben Sir Ben Kingsley. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 in, oh wait, uh, in Shutter no, Island. Sh- yeah, Shutter <laughs> Island, yeah. <laughs> no, no, right. that's what I was I was talking about. Oh, okay. About all right. Yeah, you, you were on the same wave. Gotcha. Like, all right. Me. Uh yeah, so uh but yeah, it just goes down an insane path. But like they also like show a bunch of like things you could be like Oh, he just like took it from that. Yeah. And like maybe this is real. Right. But it doesn't feel real. Mm. But like all the rooms and they, in the mental hospital have the sarcophagi in them. But like, like that's after he escapes and you almost feel like, wait, is he just having another episode yeah, here? So, like what's going Cause like I knew one of like the the like trend lines with Moon Knight was is he an actual superhero or is he just crazy? Yes. Yeah. And like, I kind of feel where it's like, yeah, Disney wouldn't do that. But, but I kind of want them to like lean into this where yeah. it's like, oh, everything you just saw was just in his head. Yeah. But at the same time, lean into, but maybe he is a superhero. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, it's, oh man. Like the way this fourth episode ends, it just. Mm. I, I weirdly got feels when Mark and uh, oh, Stephen yeah. hug, and they're like hugging. <laughs> they're like, "What was the last thing you remember?" Yeah. Oh man, it, this yeah, this show goes so. We, we also crazy. get vibes that it. there is another. Yes. Uh, well, we see that in the third episode. The third episode yeah. where he stabs yeah. someone, right. and in the fourth Mark, episode, yeah. there's another psycho- a sarcophagus yeah, with something. That in something it. is banging around. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, like, like, uh, like Ethan Hawke character said in the first episode uh there is chaos in you and it's a hundred percent true like that's the thing with mark specter is he's just got like he has did but like at the same time like it's like worse than that yeah like he's just so like, like a back in like, yeah. okay, okay as, as soon as that twist like yeah. at the end where you get shot and then all of a sudden He's in a mental hospital. Yeah. That's um, that definitely oh. is going to do it for me. I'll tell you that much. Um, I will go home and watch those yeah, right now. Definitely, uh, and, watch and that fourth episode. The last shot is definitely where okay. it's like, oh yeah, okay. Well, so we're just doing this now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. There's two episodes um, left too, so it's. Uh, oh, that's right. I always get so just, thrown off that these are only ever like six episodes. Yeah. Ever mm-hmm. since. Well, this, uh, is, this I think is the shortest one, right? Yeah. This was Loki. a short episode. Uh, no, no, Loki. no, no, no. Oh, Loki. Episode oh, how count. many episodes? Episode count. That was yeah. all about the same. Yeah, Loki, I think, was six as well. What was WandaVision? Like seven? Eight. Seven okay. or eight. Yeah. But some of those were like only, like, a, like a very crisp 30 minutes, too. Oh, so. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. those those were self-contained, like actual episodes of TV. Right. Um, yes, yeah, so yeah. there's two, two episodes left, and then we get Good. Doctor Strange the following week. Good. Like, oh, that, wow. week, that week, we get Doctor Strange, so... Next week is five, right? And then the following yeah. week is six. And then six Doctor and then Strange Doctor Strange. Strange. Oh, literally a day man. and a half later. Mm. Yeah, maybe oh, maybe we lead into that. Maybe not. I don't, I don't know. know. Yeah. 
who's get yeah who's gonna be the cameo who's to say who would, it, it's not going to you know well speaking of like okay which way which place is the real one do you guys remember them ever mentioning anything from the other movies or tv no shows or and anything? that's been a big thing yeah yeah where it's like leading me into oh what if this is all in his head yeah because they haven't mentioned anything yeah who knows? Oh man! But like, I'm a, at the same time. I'm like, but they would do that. But would they? I think that, and I think that's. Thank goodness this is episode four. Did this because mm. it makes you start questioning everything. Yeah. Um, yeah. and you like kind of hope like that it's one thing, but it's probably going to be the other thing. But the fact that you're thinking about maybe it is all in his head. Like, I I don't think so, but like maybe. But the fact that you're thinking about it, it's doing its job. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And I cannot wait for the next two episodes because there's a lot that needs to go on um, before this is all wrapped up, I I assume. Um, there are no current plans on this getting a second season. So I don't... But you never know. I mean, they could probably just say... Like, if, there, if there's a doubt to it, they'll just yeah. announce it as soon as it's done. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, maybe we could like fold them into it. the movies. They're definitely big enough yeah. names. I mean, yeah. if, like you can't find a movie for Oscar Isaac, like uh, <laughs> you know. Um, but all right, well, I guess that's any any other Moon Knight thoughts. No, I, okay. John, just go home and watch it. I'm, I'll, I'll be there, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go that and then open and then outer range and then yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Fall into the void. <laughs> um, well, if you like that episode, uh, look us up on Facebook, also on Twitter for some reason. Um, you can John, you're uh, doing a bang up job keeping track of our Twitter. Yeah, I'll, I'll, you know, what? I'm just gonna start just throwing it out there. All like, right. just, just, just some. You're the only takes. one who uses just bombard it. Twitter, so. Yeah, I, th- I think we should start. Uh, I gotta start doing the movie critic. Uh, I'm gonna stuff, start meta critic yeah. stuff. Yeah, I'm going to start getting on some uh, trends, some, uh, right. some hashtags there we to try go. to get us some buzz. Anyway, uh, like and subscribe to us on Apple Podcasts, uh, Google Play, and Stitcher, and Spotify. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Any of those places. Um, and YouTube. Don't forget our YouTube. And yeah, I'll forget that. And until next time. Bye. Adios. Adios.